Hello my friends, this is Rick Billings with MyPhotoTemplates.com. I'm going to go ahead and show you today how you can assemble your photographs into one of our templates. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our Classico, uh, one of our Classico templates, which is an 8x10 with a larger picture on the right and a smaller picture on the left. And I'm going to go ahead and just maybe broaden this out just a little bit here and uh, I'm going to reduce it down so we have a you can view the whole image together and on the right hand side in layers you'll see that we have the top layer says 2009 on it uh, the next layer is a name layer says Natalie uh, we have a bottom paste into area which is uh, in the bottom left and then we have a top right paste into area on the right hand side You'll see we have a hue and saturation layer here, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then we have our background layer. So all you do is simply take and open a couple pictures images up. And I'll drag a couple onto my desktop right here. And we will take and I use a lot of shortcuts. I'm right-handed and, and using the mouse. And the left hand, I'm using the keyboard. Okay, And so the control or command key, control on the PC and command on the Mac, you'll hear me say control because I'm using a PC here. But we'll take and, and do a control A to select all and you'll see that there's marching ants around the entire picture. I'll do a control C to copy and I just copied that picture to my clipboard. Now I can just go ahead and close that photograph. I'll click on my template and I'm going to place her in the upper right side right here. So I click on the, uh, the paste in two layer there. I'm going to simply come up here to select, load selection, and I'm loading the selection of that layer here. And you'll see there's marching ants there. The next um, thing I'll do is I'm going to go edit, paste into. Okay, edit, paste into, and the shortcut is control, shift, V. Okay, and, we'll, and it pastes that image and creates a mask over here on the right hand side. It created a new layer and a mask. Now, this is an 8x10 at 300 dpi to be printed. Now my picture obviously needs to be centered and my photograph uh, uh, might be larger than the format of the template. So I'm going to get hit a control T to transform that image and it puts handlebars all the way around the image. I'm going to hold my shift key down because that constraints proportions so my picture doesn't go out of proportion. It moves the left and right at the same time and I'm going to drag that down smaller. Then I'll let off the uh, off of that and I'll move it up with my my mouse and I'll see what proportions I want. It needs to be a little bit smaller so I'm going to grab this corner down a little bit more. Maybe I'll bring this corner up a little bit about right there and so long as the picture is just slightly larger than the mask area you're perfectly fine. So I want it right there. I'm going to double click on that transform and it reduced the size of that picture down to perfectly fit in that opening. Okay, I'm going to go here and to my next picture I had opened up right here. I'm going to do a control A to select all, control C to copy. I'm going to close that. I will come over here to my left bottom layer, select, load selection, hit OK. That selection's loaded. Hit my control shift V. That paste into that selection. Put my control T to transform. I grab this top handlebar up here. I hold my shift key down to constraint proportions and I get it about right there. And once you get good at this, you just, you know, you can see where you have to be. And that's where I want it about right there. I double click and it's done. Okay. That's as easy as it, as it is. Obviously, we then would come to our type tool. Okay. And we would either select our type layer right here. We click on it and we can highlight that name right there. And now if it comes up and it says you don't have the font, you want to make sure that you go to the bottom of our website on, on myphototemplates.com and download the free fonts. There's a set of free fonts that we use throughout our templates, and you can uh, download those and, and add them to your font library, okay? And here you could say if her name was Michelle, you could then type in Michelle, okay? You would then add, you know, say your studio logo if you had it, or if you had a logo, you could add it into the photograph there. If it was a 2009 senior or if it's just 2009 was when the photograph was taken okay so at that point you can go file save as and what I normally do is go file save as and save it as a JPEG a high quality JPEG so then you could output it and if you were doing production you could save it to a a print folder 
in your studio if you were doing studio type production and then you could just dump them into your, your print queue and it would just print these out okay you drop your format down to a JPEG now I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna hit cancer because I'm gonna show you something else that we build into our templates okay we wanted to create some great variety so I'm gonna use a shortcut of the space bar and control and zoom in once okay so we can see the whole template and I'm gonna click on our hue and saturation layer that we added now the hue and saturation layer is a very powerful a uh, uh, layer that we added here and we did this because we want you to have the ability to take that and click on that uh, hue and saturation right there it brings up a hue and saturation box and we want to give you the ability to change the background to whatever color that you want okay I hope you're saying wow because this is a really nice effect okay once you get it to a green you can change the saturation of that green okay and make it really wild there okay and, and come back down to to desaturate it to a black and white wherever you want okay you can change the lightness and the darkness of that green once you have it set so you would first start off on your hue and pick the color that you like best okay maybe it's a warmer tone like right here then you come to your saturation and pick that saturation that you want you know maybe you want it right in there and then you can match in her skin tone. And then you come in here and you, you bring it down. Maybe you want to tone it down just a little bit with your lightness and darkness. And you say, wow, that's exactly where I want it. Hit OK. OK. Let me zoom back just a little bit to see the whole picture. And it's a beautiful enhancement to that photograph, to that overall picture. OK. So it's very easy to um, insert your pictures into our templates. Uh, you can actually... Uh, write an action to do this also in Photoshop. Add those pictures to an image folder and run an action and place them there. But within minutes, you normally can add your picture to it and then either file print or file as a JPEG to a print folder that you can do later. Thank you.